हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अशी प्रताप सिंह वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल कोड कैटी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर व्हाट थिंग्स हैज बीन अपडेटेड अंडर टेल विंड वर्जन 4 ओके सो इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू रन कमांड एंड पीएक्स टेल विंड सीएसएस इन इट देन मे बी इट्स नॉट वर्किंग फॉर यू बिकॉज़ इट इज अपडेटेड टू वर्जन 4 ओके सो व्हाट डू यू हैव टू डू नाउ यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल फर्स्ट दिस टेल विंड वीट Okay, so there are different ways. So I'm using Veed, that's why I'm trying to install this. This, just paste it. Okay, until it will install, we can configure this line under my v dot config dot ts. Okay, so let's open dot config dot ts. Okay, here we have to import this. And under this plugin, we have to add this line here quickly, and then it will start working. And one more thing we have to add that is import tailwind CSS under my CSS file. So if I'll open my CSS file, uh, I'll show you here. Okay, here my app.css. So for now, this is my global file. I'll remove all the things here and add it here. Okay, now one thing you can notice if you have all, if previously you have added Tailwind. Okay, so let's show you my previous code. Okay, under this my uh, this index.css file. Okay, so you can see here I'm having three lines base component and utilities. So we used to do this, but now you have to import only Tailwind CSS and it will start working for you. And one thing you can also uh, notice that now there is no file called tailwind.config.js. Okay, now you are wondering like how we can configure these all the things. Okay, let's discuss this. So thing here you can see this line content. So now you don't need to worry about this. Tailwind will auto detect the things and uh, compile for you. Okay, now if I want to add uh, some colors like primary, secondary uh, colors, then how we can do this? Uh, so if I'll open my this documentation here, uh, there are a few things uh, that has been updated. If you are trying to migrate, then you can use this. Uh, okay, and uh, here inside my post CSS, you have to li write line like this okay and we have already did this line okay so we don't need to worry about this and we have already seen like these three uh, lines has been removed and only one line is enough okay and few class has been updated so you can go on through the documents so uh, if you are trying to add colors font and things then things are really easy you have to copy this here and paste it here so because right now there is nothing like tailwind.config.js file uh, now if everything is inside your CSS file. Okay, so Like here, these are the colors if you want to add some primary color then what I have to do color then primary okay, and uh, That primary color is red Okay And you can remove this like this. Okay, we don't need this So yeah, so it's done so if I'll show you here, uh, these are the things we can remove this. Okay. Now if I if I'll show you here inside my uh, browser that this is a React operate operate example. Okay, as two class. Okay, I just want to add my primary class. Then how we can write like this text primary. Okay, not thread. And if I want to add some other class like font bold. And yeah, it's working fine now. Okay, and a uh, few more things uh, we'll discuss here. Uh, I'll open the same file again. Not that was my app dot css. Okay, now uh, maybe you have seen uh, inside your tailwind dot config file. Okay, uh, we used to add prefixes under this file. Okay, but now if you want to add prefixes. So you have to mention it like this. Let's copy this. So paste it here. And my project name is Code Catty, so that's why I'll add it CC like this. Okay. So now this will start working for me. But one thing uh, you'll find like uh, I'm not adding hyphen. Okay. So now if you want to add 
the prefix then the way is little bit different so what you have to do so if i'll let it be like this and show you uh that is invalid yeah because i've added that uh like this save it okay come back okay so now you can see here uh, that things are not working for me okay text primary it's not working so what you can you can do here so colon like this and previously what we used to do is like this okay so uh, remember this if you want to add prefix to your class then you have to add it in a similar way and uh, here also see colon okay and the last thing uh, we are going to cover that you can see here i'm not getting any suggestion if i'm writing any class okay like this nothing so what we can do we have this documentation if you want to add a uh, suggestion and make sure that this is a experimental okay this can be removed in future so uh, for now uh, this is not working that's why we can copy this and inside my uh setting dot dot json okay so if, if i'll open this and under this settings if i'll search for this add in and after editing uh what we have to add we have to provide our this app dot css file where we have mentioned everything about tailwind so how we can write it so this is under my source okay and under source app dot css okay save it now come back here and pc colon text then you can see i'm getting suggestions from tail okay so and make sure if you are using uh, if you want this suggestions make sure you have extension for tailwind so i'll show you what's the name tailwind Delicence. okay so this extension should be present in your system so then only it, it will work so and if it is not working with tailwind before then you have to add this line which i just showed you so this one okay and uh, this make sure whatever the file uh, you have uh, for your global css file that should be included here not uh, mine okay so yeah that's how everything will work for you under tailwind so yeah that's all about today's video if you really learned something from this then please hit like and subscribe to our channel thank you